Speaker Nancy Pelosi met with Ukrainian President Zelensky to show unflinching American support for the country's defense against Russian aggression. KPX 5's Kenny Choi talked to San Francisco residents and the Ukrainian Russian community about the latest developments in this ongoing conflict. Talking about the Russian Ukrainian war for Shasha Lipkin is personal. She grew up in Russia and often explains aspects of the now two month old conflict to her seven year old daughter. We try to answer it in a more way that the child can understand, uh, maybe with a little bit less emotions. <laughs> Traditional Russian rye, Napoleon cake, and pastry batter get churned at Cinderella Bakery in San Francisco, a popular eatery for Ukrainian and Russian Americans in the city. It's just a thin crepe. The push for Congress to act swiftly getting stronger as President Biden is asking for $33 billion, most of it for military aid. Our commitment is to be there for you until the fight is done. In a surprise visit, Pelosi met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv and is now the highest U.S. ranking official to travel to Ukraine since the start of the conflict. If they're making threats, you cannot back down. That's my view of it, that you, you were there for the fight and you cannot, uh, you cannot fold to a bully. I think every country needs to think what else can they do more to help. Yes, absolutely. U.S.'s involvement and like allyship with Ukraine is sort of escalating the situation. Some like Alice Kazakov are wary of the latest developments, including 20 billion in military aid. Three billion of the White House's ask would go toward humanitarian relief. Like they could be doing a lot better job of like actually helping the refugees, like helping, um, you know, those who are actually impacted by the war. Anything that we can do to help, to stop the war to st and help the people who are either there and, or who had to leave the country um, because they couldn't stay, that's, that's what we're trying to do. In San Francisco, Kenny Choi, KPIX 5. And it was back in March, East Bay Congressman Eric Swalwell also made a trip to Ukraine. He's been urging the Biden administration to send as much aid as needed.